Hey there, everybody. Rick Mayberry here. Today is January 18th, 2023. Happy New Year. Um, thought I would share my uh, progress with Microsoft Power BI and information <clears throat> that I've gotten from Canopy MLS here in the Charlotte metropolitan area. Um, Power BI is a business intelligence tool developed by Microsoft. It is absolutely free to use. Um, there's a moderate learning curve, but it's certainly significantly less than that of other competitive tools like RStudio or um, Tableau. Uh, this is very simple stuff to make and I thought I would show you some of the highlights of what we can do with downloaded MLS data. My first tab here is what I refer to as my interactive map and it's interactive based on now I only downloaded closed sales in this data set but if there were, were active under contract we could select those we can actually zoom in on different places that we might be interested in and examining further. Um, when you mouse over any of these particular solds, we can see by the size of the circle um, that this sold price is lower than that sold price. And I've also included the, um, the address and the agent's name and phone number. So if you wanna give that person a quick call to verify something because you're considering using it, it's all, it's all right here at your fingertips. Um, <clears throat> we can select individual properties or multiple properties and let's just say now that these are the properties that we're interested in we can just copy and paste these um, into a text editor such as notepad and comma separate them and then do a MLS search by MLS numbers and we would have our perhaps comparable information. Um, another interesting tidbit here is if we really drill down into the map until the street turns blue, we get the Bing version of Google Streets and we can have a look around and take a look. There we go. You can zoom in. Pretty cool stuff. Another thing that we can do is if the property has a virtual tour, I'm trying to find one. Well, anyway, we can just simply copy this, open a browser. pop in the URL and here is our virtual tour. This is not MLS provided. This is actually the virtual tour that the agent has decided to use. But anyway, it's there and it's kind of handy. Um, we also have some information pertaining to the properties that are selected. If I select them all, that's the entire data set. If I think that this, 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 and this are my comparables, I can look at a glance at the median close was 340, 337, site size, 
medium uh, price per square foot, and there's a total of, of uh, six selected. Okay, that's pretty much my interactive map. Coming over to market change, <coughs> I have opted to use a line graph and the regression trend line. And I've also opted to um, add some slicers. There are 202 sales in the entire data set, and we can see how the sales occurred over time. And if we want to change the time slice, say back a year, we can see now that our decrease is actually occurring. Um, this is the market change per day, which is $421.80. You have to multiply that by 100. And we know that by the direction of the uh, regression line here, that it is in fact negative. Um, if we wanted to tighten up our data set by gross living area, we could perhaps do something like this. And we can see that based on this, we're looking at $199 a day downward trend. And we can also see that there are 60 uh, sales in the filtered data set. Note that the, this commentary to the right is also dynamic. So if we were to change, say, the lot size down to around an acre and maybe like a quarter acre, we would see that the narrative is changed and it's all, I think, pretty good information. The next thing I've been working on is exposure and marketing times. Um, here we see with the data set that we have a median exposure time of four days, median days on market 37, with a pretty big standard of deviation for both. Um, we also can see that uh, based on the time slices and the close dates that we are actually seeing homes are still, based on the data set, are still selling in excess of 100%. And if we were to perhaps change this up a little bit, we would see that this information changes. Uh, we could certainly do, you know, adjust the lot size and get a real good representation of what's going on with respect to exposure time and, and marketing times. Uh, our gross living area distribution clearly shows that uh, there are 74 properties between 1,000 and 2,000 square feet. That would seem to be the sweet spot. That's also represented over here in the quartile and the same thing for site sizes. And again, we have sort of a summary of the uh, information right here. This is something that I'm really kind of proud of, property attributes. These, if, if your MLS reports it, you can analyze it. And here we have three bedrooms, two full baths, no half baths, and that accounts for 43% of the data set. Now, if we were to look here, if we were to look here at architectural <coughs> styles, we can see that there are 28 uh, that are ranch homes, there are 44 that are quote traditional, transitional. Um, 
in my market, I know what these these actually mean. Um, traditional would be more of a colonial. Transitional would be more of a contemporary. But one of the cool things is that if I were to select the architectural style of ranch, note how my other uh, attributes change. So if I had, say, for example, um, a well, what could I expect to see in terms of these other properties? What do they have? And I think it's pretty powerful when you can do things like this um, and see how they impact the other attributes of a property and thus tell you what is comparable or more comparable. And in this way, I think that the credibility of your work product would be significantly increased. And perhaps more importantly, you can't really get accused of bias because you're letting the market data tell you. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I'm certainly available to help you build these things. I, I do charge a, a nominal rate per hour, um, but you can get in touch with me at rick at ncappraisalgroup.com. And my telephone number is 828-414-0650. Thanks.